Cavortress is lining up buyers right now for its spring 2012 swimwear collection. There's 88 pieces total, so this is my first very large collection for buyers who can buy wholesale. The collection is inspired by the Great American Vacation, beach towns that draw visitors, but places that many people also call home. Just kind of what the different people look like and how the locals stood out and the visitors and they were pale white from Minneapolis and so what were they wearing? Wait, did she say 88 pieces in this collection? Isn't that a lot? I don't know. I'm new at this. I have no idea. I, really, I don't know. Yes, the spring 2012 collection is the first that Cavortress and Julie Wheat has taken to retailers. Hopefully everybody has something to choose from. When Julie says something for everyone, she means she has put suits together that are wearable by all different people with all different body types. I guess that is how this collection came to be because it really does have a range of different prints that um, cater to uh, different skin types. They're not that trendy, I think they're more classic than anything, and then the cuts and styles are also pretty classic too, but they do cater to a range of different shapes. A surfer herself, Julie set out to make swimwear that is attractive and can handle anything that a woman wants to do at the beach. To me, it's just common sense. I mean, why should you wear something that isn't comfortable or you can't wear, and why should it, if it's comfortable, why should it look bad? To show off her suits, Julie brought in three models to wear them. Her idea was to demonstrate how she produces designs for a variety of individuals. I chose those suits for the girls themselves. So there's not a common visual theme, but it's, it kind of gives you the idea that there is something for everyone, and they were three totally different types of girls. In addition to creating the swimwear, Julie has been lining up retailers with the idea of shipping to them in January. I have a, a goal of 30 or more to be placed in 30 good accounts. It's heartbreaking being new, and it's hard competing with people who have things manufactured overseas for a fraction of the price. Cavortress suits are made of fabric from overseas. Italy's known for their mills, and if I'm going to make something in the United States, um, the price is going to be higher anyway, so I might as well do it right. The swimwear, however, is being manufactured in Los Angeles. My family's been here since the late 1700s, and I'm an American, and I just think that why not do something when you're you know, here? There's a lot of consumers who are enthusiastic about American-made products, which is great for me. <laughs> This is the first collection that Julie has taken to the marketplace in a big way. She has been doing swimwear for a while, though. I started creating on the side, and I did four different collections um, that kind of had a different target market, you know, knowing that I wanted to design clothing of something or accessories. Julie designed various types of clothing at the beginning, but it was the swimwear that caught on. People really responded well to the swimwear, and it, you know, it, it, it dug into what my talents were with the graphic design, and you know, my market research at the beach. Cavortress is based in the Charleston area, a place that Julie, a Buffalo, New York native, says is a perfect fit. The slogan for my business is, uh, we're conspicuous classics of perfect for fun in the sun. So, I mean, there's a lot of fun things to do in the fun in Charleston. The fit is so good that Charleston has a place right on the Cavortress label. Everybody loves Charleston. I mean, when I go places, people are like, oh, where are you from? Charleston. Oh, I love Charleston. And I do too, so it's on, the, it's on the label. People appear to like the swimwear, but they have even been attracted to that label and the logo. With my graphic background, I just hand, like, as if it were a signature and, you know, digitized it. So, I think it's catching on. The font is one aspect that has drawn attention. The name itself is another, Cavortress. The word Cavort means, the dictionary says it means to prance and caper boisterously about. And I thought it was a pretty good adjective for my company because we are all about fun in the sun. I would say that 50% of the people are like, yeah, that's awesome. I get it, you know, it's really great. And then other people are like, how do you say that or what does that mean? It's early still with the initial collection not yet in stores. Julie's hopes are high though for the first collection and beyond. She's not afraid to think ahead. I hope to grow and and you know have my product place internationally as well so I mean it just takes time you know so I have good expectations for it but not unrealistic expectations.